Hey there, it's Justin. Um, I have another demo over here. Um, this is just showing the usage of Bolt, which is this uh, thing over here. It lets you have state graphs that can uh, help you more easily manage game flow, like from going to a start state, the conditions for it, and to a win state. Like You'll see it looks very simple in this graph, but within this transition, I can put conditions for which it will enter the win state. So you'll see what all this does through this demo over here. I currently have it interfacing with VRTK v4, which has which uses Unity event system, um, as does Bolt. So I can have VRTK v4 trigger events for Bolt. So here I am in the simulated camera rig. Um, and as you can see, I can pick these up using VRTK v4 and place them on the tool shelf over there. And you'll notice that every time I put a tool on the shelf, the console will read out at the bottom over here how many tools are on the shelf. And you'll notice that if I unhook a tool off the shelf, it will lower the number of tools that are attached to the shelf. And once I hit three, then it says I won. I entered a win state. So this is a very simple example of how that can work. Um, but as you can see, it has a very simple graph as well. Just basically adding or removing based on whether a tool is attached or not. Um, and if you want to see what that looks like real quick, I can go and I can click on the saw. You can see all I have to do is put inside the snapped event of this slot my game manager state machine, which I could then trigger events from Bolt. So it's a pretty simple way of attaching things to a state graph system and VRTK4 supports that. I have also tested this to work with the Oculus Quest. And yeah, I have it um, successfully running on that. However, I could not record this gameplay on that. I had attempted it, but the video file that I recorded for my Quest um, isn't being read by my computer for whatever reason. But I can assure you that it is working and yeah, VRTK4 as well as Bolt will play well with that.